Oftentimes we are asked, why do you represent this unit and not that one, or this one or that one as reenactors, but we want to clarify and give you insight into what our unit did during the Second World War. Many of you have probably heard of the actions of some of the big and more known Allied divisions that fought in Western Europe during the Second World War. This video course is, however, not about them. This is a story about the 104th Infantry Division. The Timberwolves as they went by. We hope to give you a little insight into what they did during the Second World War by showing you some of the original footage shot by combat photographers on the ground. And the footage, of course, includes things such as background information, the occupied France, the Normandy landings, and of course, as well as places such as the Timberwolves fought at, such as Sandarbrouten, Eisenwheeler, Duren, Cologne, Paderborn, the Nordenhausen concentration camp, the Mode River, and their eventual arrival back to the United States. And now, with all that said, we must now begin the story of the Timberwolves. And to start the story, we have to begin where so many Allied units began their first combat actions. The Invasion. Europe, 1944. The Second World War is in its fifth year and still going Hitler's way. Despite military defeats in North Africa, Sicily, Italy, and on the Russian front, countless millions still lay under Nazi occupation awaiting for the return of the Allied powers after their humiliating defeats in the Battle of France. In June of 1944, however, the beginning of the long 11-month campaign of Hitler's downfall will have its beginning with the landings at Normandy. Three months after the landings in Normandy began, a newly arrived American division by the name of the Timberwolves would begin its long 195 days of consecutive combat. This is many of the images that the Timberwolves would see on their long march to victory in Europe. <laughs> 